Yeah. He's a, he's, he's a, I don't get all the time. He's like, oh, do I move like, and he's waiting for me to say, no, you got to hit the clock in both hands or something. I didn't fall off that, you know. Yeah. Just I was a good friend of Gingy back in the day. Is he still alive? I have no idea. You said put more... When he was a U.S. chair, he used to come down to Washington Square Park and play us, give us five two all day long. dog is that? So Dave, did you win? Uh, it was close. Oh, I, I was winning. I lost on time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Visual. If it was slow chess. If it was slow chess, it'd be so yeah. different. Yeah. You would have won. Uh, no, I just wouldn't have lost on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. What's wrong with you, huh? Mark, at least pay attention to the game. He's got a lot of nerve. Putting up resistance like that. Should have got my chest play. Oh, yes, I did. I'm about to get into the sixth roll. It's a 
very tall part. Wow. Yeah, so the kind of one tiny one? No, the big one, the big black one. Who wants to know? The shoes. The shoe guy? Definitely. Wild. If I had this position, what I wouldn't do? It takes the dinner off the jump. Huh? Steve. Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and let's go over it and see what we can learn. And if you've been enjoying Mark's games, you can get him a cup of coffee. His link is in the video description below. He'd really appreciate it. And also don't forget to check out Sam's books and DVDs. His link is in the description as well. And if you like the chess gear, the uh, links, Amazon links to the board set and um, pieces and the clock are in the description as well. I highly recommend the pieces. I think they're the best bang for your buck. They're quadruple weighted and they're the biggest um, plastic chest pieces you can buy. So um, I think they are the best bang for your buck. All right, so let's go over the game, see what we can learn. And here in this position, um, Mark took the uh, pawn, but let's go move back. Pause the video. How can Black get his pawn? I mean, uh, yeah, Black get his pawn back that he lost earlier on in the game. See if you can find a better move for Black here. All right, I'll give you a hint. Whenever you see the king and the queen on the same color diagonal like this, what automatically pops in your mind? How sweet would it be if you could get a bishop right here, right? So in order to do that, this knight needs to get out of the way. So knight g6 with the threat of bishop here and 
one idea is e5 to block, then you take the bishop, queen takes, and now you can get your pawn back that you lost um, a couple moves earlier. So here black is back in the game, and computer actually has black slightly better here at negative 0.4. So one way that black could have uh, gotten back in the game, but let's go here in this position and toward the end game. And oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful tactic that was missed by Sam. So in this position, um, Mark played King G7, but and then in the game, Sam played Bishop. I mean, uh, Queen D5. But let's go move back. Pause the video. What is the absolute killer move for White here? There's a killer move. It went from point one. I mean. Uh, plus 0.1, which is pretty much even, to 29.8, so completely winning. From dead even to completely winning, and uh, it's a very subtle, quiet, killer move. And pause the video and see if you can find the tactic that U.S. chess champion Grandmaster Sam Shanklin missed. And uh, hopefully you feel good about yourself. <laughs> but you can't blame Sam because, you know, hard to see during the game, especially when time is ticking down, so... All right, now I'll give you guys just a little bit more time because it's a very sweet tactic. All right, if you guys saw Queen C4, congratulations. That is the absolute deadly move. Going back here, um, let me guys ask you this. Maybe you saw one idea of Queen C4, but there's actually two ideas behind it. and if you see the second idea, you'll see why queen c3 and queen c2 don't work. Only queen c4 works here. So queen c4, and what is the idea behind this? If you guys saw this, then congratulations, but that's only one part of the idea. What's the second part of the idea? All right, first off, um, the idea behind this, I think everyone sees it, right? Pretty much force trade the queens, and um, so queen takes queen pawn takes and queens so but what happens if queen just takes the pawn right now you see the second idea behind queen c4 and why queen c3 and queen c2 doesn't work so if queen takes pawn boom check king up and all these moves are forced here check um, push the pawn, discover check, and if you want to be especially gangster here, you don't even queen a pawn, you just change it to a bishop, so that'll be checkmate. So that was the double idea behind the subtle move queen c4, and okay, so we covered why um, queen takes doesn't work, so let's say, okay, if, if white is coming down to pin me, then maybe just get my king out of the way, right? But this doesn't work either, because... White's going to follow through on his plan, and um, obviously, you know, queen can't take queen, queen can't take um, pawn, so let's say black tries to get some counterplay, but it's too late. It's too late because um, he clears the way for the queen to come over, so. And you're going to see kind of the similar pattern here that you saw earlier, except you got to change to a queen this time because black has an escape route with, by picking up that pawn, but it doesn't matter because next move is mate. So that was the, uh, yeah, that was a quiet move. And here, um, the computer doesn't, this is what the computer recommends, queen g7. So it's just delays the inevitable by eight moves. So, but we all know what's going to happen here. And you don't even have to worry about the bishop, you can just queen, so. Very nice tactic that was missed by white, but a very cool one that we can all learn and keep in mind for our future games, so very, very cool. All right, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.